Welcome back to another episode of Wondering Bear Adventures. This week we're going to discuss Pride Month. And to do that, we have to go back to 1969 and review the Stonewall Riots and what exactly happened. The Stonewall Era, 1966 to 1969. The Stonewall Era corresponded with the opening of the Stonewall Inn in January 1966 until it closed in December 1969. By 1969, the Stonewall Inn, now a national monument, was one of the most popular gay bars in New York City. Throughout the state, homosexuality was considered a criminal offense, and it would take over a decade of organizing before same-sex relationships were legalized in 1980 in New York versus Onfrey. The criminalization of homosexuality led many gay establishments to operate Sands Liquor License, providing an open door for raids and police brutality. Like many gay establishments at the time, the Stonewall Inn was owned and operated by the Mafia. As long as they continued to make a profit, they cared very little about what happened to their clientele. Because the owners were still making a profit, they simply adjusted to the raids and were often tipped off to them ahead of time. The Stonewall was raided on average once a month leading up to the raid on June 28, 1969, and had been raided once already that same week. The Stonewall Inn was also not the only bar in town being frequently raided. In the last three weeks, five gay bars in the village area that they knew of had been hit by the police, according to the Summer of Gay Power and the Village Voice Exposed come out in 1969. Police raids and harassment were common occurrence across the U.S. during this time and amid the growing political activism in the 1960s, LGBTQIA plus people began to mobilize and fight back. June 28, 1969 marks the beginning of the Stonewall Uprising. A series of events between police and LGBTQIA plus protesters which stretched over six days. It was not the first time police raided a gay bar, and it was not the first time LGBTQIA plus people fought back, but the events that would unfold over the next six days would fundamentally change the discourse surrounding LGBTQIA plus activism in the United States. While Stonewall became well known due to the media coverage and the subsequent annual Pride traditions, it was a culmination of years of LGBTQIA plus activism. Historians have noted that the shift in activism, if Stonewall truly represented one at all, was a shift primarily for white cisgendered people as people of color and gender non-conforming people never truly had the benefit of concealing their marginalized identities. While the events of Stonewall are often referred to as riots, Stonewall veterans have explicitly stated that they prefer the term Stonewall Uprising or Rebellion. The reference to these events as riots was initially used by the police to justify their use of force. The Rebellion, it was never a riot, lasted five inconsecutive nights. They were not riots, Stonewall Veterans Association. It is important to note that there were a number of uprisings against police and state brutality, harassment and entrapment of LGBTQIA plus communities in the United States in the years before Stonewall. These events and people involved have not received as much historical attention as Stonewall, but are just as central to understanding the U.S. LGBTQIA plus histories. Some of the pre-Stonewall uprisings include Pepper Hill Club Raid, Baltimore, Maryland in 1955. Over 162 people were arrested. Cooper's Do Not Raid, Los Angeles, California, 1959. Black Knight Brawl, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, August 5, 1961. Compton's Cafeteria Raid, San Francisco, California, 1966. Black Cat Raid, Los Angeles, California, 1967. The Stonewall's Veterans Association consists of actual gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and straight patrons from the original Stonewall Club in New York City with routine and dangerous NYC police raids and or patrons in the historical 1969 Stonewall Rebellion. Black Knight, primary source related to the Black Knight Brawl in August of 1961 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. LGBTQIA plus Pride Month is a month, typically June, dedicated to celebration and commemoration of lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender pride. Pride Month began after the Stonewall Riots, a series of gay liberation protests in 1969 and has since spread outside the United States. Modern Day Pride Month both honors the movement of LGBTQIA plus rights and celebrates LGBTQIA plus culture. The concept of pride began 
with the Stonewall Riots, a series of riots for gay liberation that took place over several days beginning on June 28, 1969. The riots began after police raided at the Stonewall Inn, a gay bar located within Lower Manhattan in New York City. Activists Marsha P. Johnson, Sylvia Rivera, and Stormy Delavara are credited for inciting the riots, though Marsha P. Johnson disputes her involvement. The year after the riots, the first Pride marches were held in several U.S. cities. The march in New York City aimed to celebrate the Christopher Street Liberation Day alongside parallel marches across the U.S. It is considered to be the watershed moment for LGBTQIA rights. Fred Sargent, an organizer of some of the first marches, said that the goal was to commemorate the Stonewall riots and further push for liberation. He noted that while the first marches were more akin to a protest than a celebration, it helped to remind people of LGBTQIA communities and how they may include one's family and friends. However, transgender women and people of color were noted to have been excluded or silenced during the early marches despite the initial riots largely consisting of them. Following the Stonewall Riots and the first Pride Marches, the number of LGBTQIA groups rapidly increased, and the Pride movement spread across the United States after a few years. As of 2020, most Pride celebrations in major urban areas around the world are held in June, although some cities hold them at different times of the year partially because of the weather in June being suboptimal for such events. In June 1999, U.S. President Bill Clinton declared the anniversary of the Stonewall Riots every June in America as Gay and Lesbian Pride Month. In 2011, President Barack Obama expanded the officially recognized Pride Month to include the whole of the LGBTQIA community. In 2017, however, Donald Trump declined to continue the federal recognition of Pride Month in the United States, though he later recognized it in 2019 in a tweet later used as a presidential proclamation. After taking office in 2021, Joe Biden recognized Pride Month and vowed to push for LGBTQIA rights in the United States despite previously voting against same-sex marriages and school education of LGBTQIA plus topics in the Senate. In addition, Pride Month is often observed in several LGBTQIA plus affirming religious congregations. the opportunity to go to Gay Days in Orlando on June 3rd and 4th, so I've also included some photos from that trip.
you all for tuning in for this special edition of Wondering Bear Adventures. I hope it was educational for you all, and I know it's a departure from what I normally do, but I felt like it was worth sharing with you all. Uh, tune in next week to see what adventure we go on, and as always, stay safe and be kind.